$55,901 from just one article? Are you kidding me? Is this even real? Well, ladies and gentlemen, today what we're going to do is talk about the WikiHow business model. How is WikiHow, ha, huh, it's kind of hard to say, raking in over $15 million a year with this business model? How does it work? What can we learn as affiliate marketers and content marketers? And how could we start raking it in big time, learning from the WikiHow business model? Now, guys, we got a treat for you today. This is a doozy. I was up practically all night. Well, by all night, I'm in my 40s, so that's like, you know, one o'clock. But I want to show you guys how this works. I've been going through this for the last couple of weeks, understanding exactly why this business model works and what you can do. But first, I got something really important here, and we're going to see who can guess this. All right, we're going to draw something here, and I want to see who could guess this. And the person who guesses what this is, is going to be the winner today. All right, so here we go. We're going to try to draw this here, okay? And then we have this here, got our window, all right, and a seat here. Okay, what is that? Does anyone know what this is? Probably not, but maybe, maybe if I put an arrow, you know, on, on YouTube, if you put an arrow, people click. So there's the arrow talking about what it is. All right, we'll, we'll make it like this here. And no, it's not a pie, okay? It has something to do with automobiles. We'll put that over here because this is going to be very important. And this actually leads to a niche that is very, very profitable. So if you think you can guess it, type it in. Someone says airplane. Someone says lighting equipment. No one's got it yet. This is actually something pretty interesting and something that the WikiHow site ranks for. Now, what we're going to talk about today is not so much the WikiHow obvious way they make money. Obviously, you know, they go out there and they make content and they make money and that's what this is. But we're going to talk about a way that they're leaving a lot of money on the table and a way that little content creators like us have an advantage over big companies. Now, we're going to take a look at a bunch of stuff that's going on here. And for Chad Chad G, uh, steering wheel, you are the winner. That was my terrible attempt at drawing a steering wheel. So what we're going to do here is we're going to talk about this and we're going to go through and we're going to talk to you about how the steering wheel article on WikiHow is going to show you how this works. Now, Cricket says, can you please tell me how to work from home where I can earn $1,000 a month? Well, if you want to earn $1,000 a month, we're going to talk about how that works as well. We're going to talk about how to make $1,000 a month, how to make how some people are making $100,000 a month or more. So we're going to take a look at this and we're going to say, okay, so you want to make $1,000 a month? Let's break it down in 30 days. That equals just $30 a day. All right, we're going to talk about this. This method we're going to talk about today is going to blow your socks off. This is going to show you the real world of how this stuff works. Guys, this is real examples. You can't argue with it. You can look at it and be like, ah, well, I don't like that Marcus guy. He's kind of funny looking and he's always got a weird expression. And for some reason, there's a toilet on the screen here. But what we're going to do is we're going to show you how this works because you can argue with me till you're blue in the face, but you can't argue with WikiHow's results. And we're going to dissect that and show you how this works. So smash a like button if you're excited. We're going to dive in and show you how this works, how people are generating as much as $55,901 from one article alone, and how I've actually made over $300,000 from one article alone. This is where the rubber meets the road. Now, we're going to go through this training and we're going to bring up this list of keywords I actually went through and painstakingly went through a bunch of keywords that WikiHow ranks for uh, over 500 of them and found the ones that I think would work really well. Because here's the deal, guys. You got these big businesses out here. All right. Let's uh, let's show you guys how this works. Hopefully our eraser works OK. I don't think it's as good as we'd like. But what you have here is you have these big businesses out here. OK. And these big businesses right here, okay, they have disadvantages. Now, they do make lots and lots of money, okay, but they have disadvantages. And the disadvantages that they have is they can't see the things that us little guys can see. So if you're the little guy over here, all right, what you're going to see is that you could go through and you could do a lot better on one article than they can do on multiple articles. And what we're going to see is exactly how this works and how you can use that 
to make lots and lots of money. Now, this is very important because once you grasp this concept, it's all gonna make sense for you. So stick around, whether you like me or not, don't pay attention to that. Pay attention to what is being said because what's being said here is how to start a business based on what's already working. Because what we talk about all the time is the fact that big businesses and big content writers and stuff like that, they have a lot of waste. All right, and we're going to talk about that. But first, let's go into the WikiHow business model and talk about how this works. Now, if you want any of the notes from this video, uh, any of the keyword reports, we have some of them available over at DownloadMyNotes.com. Now, what I did is I took a little screenshot, a little snippet of one of the top ranking articles that WikiHow has, and that is how to make a video into an MP3. Right, this is a lot of traffic. There's a lot of uh, gurus out there that rank for this word as well, which is interesting because that's not exactly, I mean, it's a good keyword, but it's not exactly like the make money niche keyword. And you can actually see what is going on because, you know, the cool thing WikiHow does is it shows us how many times this article has been read. So we could see this one's been read 2.6 million times, almost 2.7 million times for how to convert YouTube videos or how to convert videos into MB3. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the business model here. Okay, the model is content, article info, and then ads. Okay, so this Disney thing here, this is actually an ad. And what they're doing is they are banking on the fact that, you know, hey, check it out. It's a numbers game. So they're banking on the fact that if they get X amount of people to read an article, X amount will click an ad. Okay, this is this is the basic number game. All right, so we'll, we'll line it up. We're going to do some math. Unfortunately, my magic draw on the screen pen didn't work, so we had to improvise and switch around. But what they're looking at is they're looking at, okay, if we get 2.7 million people to read our article, okay, 2.7 million people read our article about converting the YouTube videos to MP3 or whatever it is, okay? What happens here is they're saying, okay, maybe, maybe 3% are going to click, okay? So if 3% click on ads, which is usually... I mean, that's a little high for a site like this, but nevertheless, it can work. So let's see what that works out to. 2700, one, two, three. Did I get that right? I don't know. My eyes are old, so I can't see this link here. All right, there we go. 2.7 million times about 3%. All right, just to get our math brain going here. Uh, so that's about 81,000 people to click on the ads okay and what they're doing is they're looking at this and you can do the numbers and take a look at the business model and see how this is working because I think it's very important to understand where this is coming from so they're saying 2.7 million 81,000 let's say they get I don't know let's make it up and say they get 10 cents per click on the ad which I think in this market is doable if done correctly 10 cents that would mean that article made a grand total of $8,100. Again, this is hypothetical, but I've been doing this 21 years and I know what the numbers look like and I know how this starts to make sense. Okay, so we're gonna look at this and be like, okay, so I see that model. Now, remember how I said there's a lot of money being left on the table? And that is a fact. That is an absolute fact because when you're doing stuff like this, this is where me and you can do a lot better. We can do a lot better because instead of like Disney, which these guys, they didn't come here looking for Disney. They came here looking for information on converting videos to MP3. So my job would be to do better and play something there that's going to work. If that makes sense, smash the like button and let's dive into the rest of this business model. Now, when we're taking a look at this, we look at wikihow.com. Currently, they are ranking for about 29.6 million keywords. Now, this is important because here we see, okay, a $15 million a year amount, but here we're seeing that Ahrefs and even SEMrush or SEMrush or whatever it is, I always say these wrong, right? Uh, they're saying that the average value of the traffic is about $24 million. They're like literally within 200 grand of each other, which is kind of interesting. So what they're looking at is, okay, we got $24 million a month worth of traffic. So like 
24 million a month. Okay, let's let's take a look at this here because 24 million dollars a month is pretty big, right? That's a huge amount. So we're looking at uh, 24 million a month versus uh, 15 million a year. So we're literally like, I don't know, a quarter of a billion dollars off. All right, that's that's a little interesting. So we got uh, 240 million a year, somewhere in that range, versus 15 million a year. Okay, so that's a big discrepancy, and we want to talk about why that is, right? Or, I mean, obviously, we're looking at the amounts that they're saying, right? Like, we're going to pull this up. We're going to show you exactly where these amounts come from, and we're going to show you what's going on. Okay, now, first, let's backtrack a little bit. Then we're going to get into the numbers and the data, and we need to really understand this, okay? So, we're going to go here, and we're going to look at an article, like, how to write a check. All right, if we go to Google and we search for how to write a check, okay, what we're going to see here is a bunch of results. Okay, how to write a check. We got Huntington.com, and then we have WikiHow.com. Okay, interesting. So Huntington.com, and we have uh, WikiHow.com. Now, when we look at this, we're like, okay, cool. So this keyword, what this means is 217,000 people each and every month search for how to write a check. Now, that doesn't include subcategory keywords or anything like that, which is probably where this is coming up with their traffic amount, right? We're seeing here, their traffic amount is 5 million people. So 5 million people have hit this page interested in how to write a check. Now, I love this example because I'm like, okay, how to write a check that leads to banking, making money, credit cards, being an adult, understanding how to like run your finances and stuff like that. So the market here is worth a lot more. And let's see here, let me just get this here. And I wanna show you how this works because I think it's very important to understand exactly how this is working. If I have my eraser here, there we go, there we go. We're gonna go with the less camera angle, less professional type set up today because we want to get you guys the information. This is about the information, not so much the presentation. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at over here, we have an article about check writing. Okay. This is our article about check writing. Okay. And what we want to do, let's, let's do it this way. Okay. Article about check writing. Did I do that right? I did do that right. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at all the things that check writing could possibly link to. Okay, so maybe we'll have like bank account and maybe there's like a bank account, there we go, that's a B, a bank account affiliate program or a credit card or loans or maybe there's like a course on how to do finances or whatever it is. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, which is easy and cheap, right? This is why the WikiHow business model works because this traffic is easy to get. Then we're going to flip them to the stuff that pays us a lot of money, right? Does that make sense? This is what I call flipping the market. If we can take people that are looking for how to write a check and we can put them to, you know, how to open a bank account, here's a credit card, here's this, here's that, then we can make this work very, very, very important in a very good way. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look and say, okay, how to write a check, they show you how to write a check, and then they have ads, okay? Right here, we can see there is an eHarmony ad that shows up. Now, it's important to note, again, eHarmony has nothing to do with writing checks unless you plan on dating someone and writing them checks, which, hey, sometimes in the dating world, that does happen. Not advised, don't do that, uh, you know, run your stuff a little bit smarter than that. But we're going to look at this and say, well, this doesn't really have a lot to do with writing a check. Okay, so what if we can do better? What if we can understand how it's working? Now, let's take a look at this. Again, we're going to do a broad scope overview of how WikiHow works and how you can start writing articles for money. I even went so far to show you guys, if you're out there and you just want to make money, I'm going to show you how to get paid to write articles, okay? Very important. Now, Sharon says, are you suggesting we write articles on WikiHow? I am not. 
I'm suggesting we learn from the business model. Now, let's take a look at this, okay? WikiHow, this is according to um, Inc. Ink share or something like that. What is it? Let me let me find out the site so you guys can find it too. Ink, um, Ink Fact. Okay, so Ink Fact has a little breakdown on the WikiHow business model, and it's saying that it's making between fifteen and sixteen million dollars a year for quite some time, which is pretty good, right? So we're like, okay, here we have this. We have what we know is a constant. The constant is WikiHow is making. 16 million dollars a year okay 15 to 16 million a year okay so that is our constant that is something you cannot argue with wikihow is making that money that's what's going on it is a fact game over they win but we can win also and i'm going to show you how that works now when we look at this we're like okay pretty cool now wikihow also boasts that they have like 250,000 articles on their site. Now, I did the math. $15 million divided by 250,000 articles means that the average article is bringing in about $67 a year. All right, so like, if you want to write articles and get paid $67, that could work. But I want you to realize that this is what it looks like, okay? What it's going to look like is this. And you're going to see the example of this on your site's on WikiHow site and lots of other sites. What you are going to see is that yes, the average here is, let's do it this way, $67 per year per article, okay? $67,000 per year per article. But what you're gonna notice is that there is the 90-10 rule. The 90-10 rule says 90% of your articles, 90% of your effort is not going to make the most money. What you are going to see is that 10% of your effort is going to make the majority of the money. So if they have 250,000 articles, chances are 25,000 or less are what's producing the 15 million, right? Does that make sense to everyone? Type 90-10 if you guys get it. I want you guys to understand this because it's extremely important. When we understand this, then what we're going to do is something very important. We're going to go out there and we're going to figure out what the 90% is, right? Because I don't want to do the waste. I don't want to have a bunch of employees. I don't want to average $67 per article. No, I want to go out there and focus on things that I know will work. Now, when we go through this and we look at the keywords that WikiHow ranks for, okay? These are some that I like. And again, remember that steering wheel in the beginning? That's what we're gonna talk about here. The steering wheel one, steering wheel cleaner, has a very low difficulty rate, gets 300,000 searches a month, and leads into stuff that pays us big money. Okay, are you starting to get this type aha if you're like, okay, I'm getting this, I have an aha moment, this makes sense to me, okay? Because what we can do is I can say, wait a minute, do I want to rank for coin flip? Like that's, that's the number one on this list. On this list that I came up with, coin flip is number one. So we look at this and we're like, okay, so they do rank for coin flip. All right, uh, let's see here. I'm going to bring this up and I want you guys to understand this. I want you guys to get exactly how this stuff works, okay? So coin flip... We have, let's see, WikiHow, let's do how to flip a coin or something like that. Okay, there we go. So how to flip a coin. We have a video here, which uh, WikiHow also has a video channel that gets quite a few views. Um, and all they're doing is converting their articles into like, slideshow presentation super easy like i said this business model is super easy and this training is designed to show you how this works as a whole so that all the other stuff makes sense to you like when you look at youtube automation or um you know blogging or article writing all the people talking about this stuff you're going to learn a lot in this training to understand how it works so how to coin flip Okay, how to flip a coin. Now, this traffic here, let's see what kind of ads show up. It looks like ads that are following me around. Okay, this particular article 
has 238,000 views. So we're going to look at this and be like, okay, 238,000 views. That's one of their top. Is that one of the 90 percenters? Probably not. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to figure out what we can use. And when we do this, what we're going to do in just a minute, I'm going to show you some sites that'll pay you to write articles. So don't worry if you're here for the article stuff, we will show you that. But I want to show you instead of getting paid $100 to write an article, how to get paid big money to write article. If you want to learn how to make big money writing articles, but you know, you have to take the risk because you're writing it yourself and you're, you're not going to get paid until the, the revenue comes in from other streams. So we're going to show you this for those that want to go write articles for a hundred bucks each. We got you covered for those that want to go out there and make a business. We're going to show you how that works in a real world way. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the structure and we're going to look at what's going on. So they got two point, uh, 29 million keywords ranking. Okay. We looked at their article structure of how to clean a steering wheel and we're going to look at some competitors. So here we have WikiHow. We have competitors here, which are like, um, masterclass. You got uh, wondershare, how to geek, uh, handyman, SF gate. A lot of people are getting in on this. This is something that newspapers get in on as well. And I want to show you how it works on a grand scale. Okay. Cause these guys are doing a big scale. You look at this one here, sfgate.com, their traffic value is $6 million a month. Who called me from their phone number is one of their top ranking ones. You got weather, you got a horoscope, phone lookup. So we want to look at how this works, elliptical machine. Why in the world would a newspaper rank for elliptical machine? Well, we're going to show you. Sit tight. This is very important. Here's another one here, the spruce.com, which is a huge media outlet making millions and millions of dollars each and every year with content-based sites. Okay. They started as a magazine publisher. Magazines aren't as popular as they were before the internet. And so they, they pivoted a little bit. You can see some of the stuff they rank for, uh, feng shui, snake plant, a bidet attachment, um, all kinds of stuff. Okay. Very important. Some other competitors here. We have how to geek $5 million, uh, worth of traffic. We could see all kinds of different things here that they're ranking for. We have uh, Wondershare, which is a software company. Again, we're noticing the video to MP3, uh, different effects, how to do different things, all kinds of stuff here. Okay. Again, this is going to come full circle. So if you're paying attention, make sure you're paying attention because this is going to come full circle. At the end, you're going to be like, oh, I get it. And I didn't get it before. Okay. Here we go again. We have um, gardening know-how. This is specific for gardening stuff. Okay, lots and lots of traffic. $3.8 million a month in traffic. We got um, Livestrong. This one's been around for years. Uh, Livestrong, I think it's like a Lance Armstrong company. I'm not sure though. Might be something else. But what we're seeing here, they rank for rowing machine. How many calories should I burn in a day? What is your body lacking? when you get certain things, smoothie recipes, and on and on we go. Again, what you're going to look at here is there's a 90-10 rule, all right? Up here, rowing machine, that's a zinger of a keyword, right? Like you look at rowing machine, that's already in a market that makes a lot of money. But when we look at something like, you know, maybe how to cook ground turkey, it's, it's not that big, then that's not that profitable. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to look at this and be like, wait a minute. Okay, what can I get traffic for and how can I make this work? If you're digging this, smash that like button. Let's get those likes over 100 because I want to know you guys are liking this stuff because we got a doozy coming up. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start to look at this and be like, okay, I'm getting the idea. This company is out there. They're making millions and millions of dollars, 15 million a year. All right, you look at that. If you want to make a hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay. That means in the Wikipedia or Wiki, Wiki how business model, just in the traffic, this site has alone, there is room for 150 people to make a hundred thousand dollars a year. Think about that for a minute. So like 150 people can figure out what they're doing and, and make it work for them and make a hundred grand a year. Now, Again, of course, we got to do the disclaimer. And to do the disclaimer, let's get the money hat, right? 
The results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. We don't know what you're going to make. The average person trying to make money online makes nothing. But when you look at this and you start to understand, wait a minute. So you're telling me two things. One, you're telling me the WikiHow business model is leaving a lot of money on the table. Yeah, these big businesses are leaving a ton of cash on the table. You're also telling me that within this business model, within the traffic that this site gets, there's over room for over 150 people just at the current revenue model for 150 people to make $100,000 a year. Yes. How many of you guys, if you made 100 grand a year, you'd be happier than a pig in the slop? You'd be like, Marcus, that is crazy. I would totally be all over that. I would love to do that. Okay. And let's talk about how this works. First of all, if you want to go out there and write articles and get paid per article, you can take a look, go to Google, type in sites that pay to write articles. You look for them. I found a couple for you. Freelance Mom is known to pay $75 to $100 per article. Transitions Abroad is known to pay $100 an article. Income Diary, $200 an article. Guidepost Airlines, Alaska Airlines was one of the highest. They pay up to $700 per article. Now, in order to get to $100,000 a year, you're going to have to write like a thousand articles at a hundred bucks an article. Now you can do that. There's plenty of people who do that. However, I think there is a better way to make this work. I think there's a better way to make money than going out there and, and, you know, making your fingers and brain tired, writing articles all day to hope that this stuff works. And the better way is to dissect the business model. Again, let's take a look at this business model. Like WikiHow is, it's a brilliant business model. It's a very smart business model. Um, it's one that's used by many different places. And what we want to do now is talk to you about the difference between an article site paying you money and you making money on your own article. Why did WikiHow work? Well, it worked because they took a risk and said, we're going to create content even though we're not getting paid today. Because far too many people they want to get paid today. And this is the difference between your future bank account and your later and, and your bank account now. If I go over to you and I say, hey, buddy, I'm going to give you 100 bucks for one article. Okay, you get your $100, you put it in your pocket, and you go on your merry way. And you're like, yeah, I made $100 today. Tomorrow, guess what? You got to wake up again and make some more money tomorrow. Because a hundred bucks, it's already in your pocket, it's already gone, the article's already written. But the question I have is, is why would these companies up here pay you to write articles? Why? Why would they do that? Well, because they know that they're going to give you a hundred bucks, and based on the averages, even if they're looking at the WikiHow example, where each article is making an average of $67 a year, okay? Okay. By year two, they're already making profit on your article. Now, of course, the 90-10 rule is going to come into play. 10% of the articles are going to be zingers and make a lot of money. So we need to understand this. And this is how we improve on the business model. Because what we want is not the $100 now. Is there anyone who wants that? If you guys want that, here's a list of sites you could go to and you can write. Uh, we got Alaska Airlines Guidepost, Chicken Soup for the Soul, E-Commerce Insiders, I work well, I writer, hire writers, or rev, right? You could go over there. You could get your 100 or 200 bucks right now writing articles. Again, some of them, your article has to get accepted. So you might not even get paid on those. But what we're looking at is instead of our $200 today, because everyone will go to work for money today. Everyone will. Everyone I find is like, hey, you want to make money today? Yeah, go to work. Here's your money. See you later. Okay, then you get fired or furloughed or laid off and you're out. What I want to do is I want to forego today's money. All right, I'm not going to take it. I'm going to put it over there. I want to put money in my future bank account. And when you put money in your future bank account, the way that it works is simple. Because instead of you going out there and saying, you know what, buddy, I want to make X amount, right? And again, here's that list for you. But instead of going out there and saying, hey, I want to make X amount, what we're going to do is I'm going to say, well, ladies and gentlemen, 
what could I do today? Okay, if I could sit down today, you, you sit down, you say, I'm going to make 100 bucks. I sit down, I say, you know what? I want to make $1 a day every day. Okay? What does that mean? If I make a dollar a day every day. So here's you. You wrote your article. Here's your article. That's what your article looks like. It looks like a sock. And you got your $100. Okay? And you're like, yay, I got my 100 bucks. I'm going to go to the Olive Garden and get a half of a dinner because inflation made the Olive Garden expensive. All right? But we're going to look at that. And we'll be like, okay, there you go. You got your 100 bucks. And you're sitting here and you're laughing at me. And you're like, Marcus, just, he, he made a dollar. I made 100. What kind of businessman is he? I made 100. He's got a dollar. Sorry, as Biff would say in Back to the Future, sorry, you lose. But did I? Did I really? Because if I sit down, I take the same eight hour day. You get your 100 bucks. I get $1 a day every single day till it fizzles out. Okay, that means my same amount of work just made, I can't write backwards, 365 bucks a year. And my goal is just, how do I make $1 a day every day? Can I sit down and write an article that'll make me a dollar a day every day? Yeah, I think I can. I absolutely think I can. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at it and say, okay, well, how do we improve on this? Okay, AKA, how to make $55,000 from one article. Now, granted, this is a, a extreme example, okay? I have an example where I've made, I think, 300,000 off of one article. But again, it's very specific and you gotta do it the right way. Because what we're gonna do is we are only gonna go for traffic that we want. For example, I went on the WikiHow site and I found an article about Cash App loans. Apparently, I would never use Cash App, but apparently there's some kind of app out there. And apparently people want loans from this app. Now, we could see here that this one article on Wikipedia ranks for all these keywords. Okay, and it's a very simple article about how to get a loan on a certain app. Very simple. Anyone can do this. Is there anyone out there that's like, yeah, I don't think I could figure out how to write an article on a certain loan. If you can't, then, you know, maybe you should be doing something else. But I think everyone here can agree, yeah, I could do the research and I can figure it out. Or I can outsource it. Either way. Okay? So when we look at this, this is ranking for all this stuff. Now, what I look at here is, okay, so we got, what, 8,400, 1,500, so there's 10,000, 11,000. We got like 15,000 people a month searching for this certain topic. Okay, 15,000 people a month searching for this specific topic, all right? Now, this topic leads to all kinds of money stuff. That's why I like this one, because we're like, okay, we're not just going after just any traffic. This is loan traffic. And I don't know if you've noticed, but if I was to go over to like OfferVault or even uh, the Google AdWords keyword tool, the word loan pays a lot of money. Right, so if we go over to Offer Vault like this, which is where I like to find my affiliate offers, and we do loan, okay, you're gonna see there's lots of loan offers. Personal loan pays 225 per application, 225, 130, 130. Okay, so cool. So of those 15,000 people, okay, you guys digging this? Smash a like button if you're digging this. Of those 15,000 people per year, let's say I get, I don't know, let's say I get 10% of them. So I got 1,500, okay? So I got 1,500 people coming to my page. Of those 1,500, could I get two? That's a two. All right, we'll make, we'll make that a two. There we go. Two, all right? Could I get two to fill out one of these loan forms, loan applications? Yeah, I probably could. Could I get a couple to click on various loan ads? Yeah, of course I could. And the name of the game is, I'm going to write content based on stuff I know I can get. So we're going to go out there and we're going to say, okay, we got Cash App Loan, a lot of stuff, not too competitive. All right, here's another one. What is the finance charge on a car loan? Okay, that's pretty cool. So we go over to 
our site here, and we're like, okay, we got um, auto loan. Auto loan refinance. There we go. So we're looking at that, and we're like, okay, these are things that we can use. Now, they're a little competitive, so we're going to need a, a three-pronged strategy here, but I don't think it's going to be too difficult, okay? Let's take a look at this one. Steering wheel cleaner. Now, steering wheel cleaner was the example that I was talking about here. How could you make a bunch of money off of steering wheel cleaner? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to think outside the box. We're going to start to think differently in a way that's going to make sense. We're going to think about what can we do to get these people into something that's going to pay us. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over here, and we're going to look at cleaners on uh, Offer Vault. Here's something for laundry. And actually, I found an article that WikiHow was ranking for about how to get mildew smell out of laundry. $18 a lead. That's what this does. Eliminate, eliminate dangerous toxic mold from your laundry machine today. Like, do you guys see how that works? Instead of just running ads, we got to go over and be like, wait a minute. So I could put this in front of them. And, and I write my article. And I'm like, hey, guys. You want the truly free laundry machine cleaner that's going to help you get that smell out of your laundry? Boom, there you go, right? And we can go through and be like, okay, let's take a look at WikiHow, and we'll do, um, let's do Keywords Explorer. We'll go to the keywords. I'm just going to do this off screen real quick so that you understand. But how to clean a steering wheel, we can see here this one is showing you all kinds of stuff. Now, for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to look at it, so it's viewed 128,000 times. What we're going to do is we're going to look at, like, as seen on TV. And I think I... Didn't I have it open here somewhere? Yeah, here it is. As seen on TV, car cleaners, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to promote this stuff. This is going to pay a lot more money because as seen on TV programs pay lots of money, right? So we're going to look at this and we're going to be like, okay, this is how it works. And we go through... And we start to look at each of these and say, okay, well, how is this going to work? Okay, we have, let's see, yes, it looks clean. I think so. Yes, okay. So for laundry, look at all the traffic. Deodorizing laundry, how to separate laundry, um, how to clean your laundry machine, all kinds of stuff. One article, same kind of thing with the one about steering wheels. And what we're going to do is we're strategically going to place offers that make sense. Here's another one. Laundry machine cleaner, $18 a lead. And oftentimes, these are like literally dirt cheap for the people. Like it's, you know, 10 bucks and we get 18. And if you start to understand, wait a minute, this is pretty cool. Now, Sharon brings up a good question. She says, well, how do we compete against these big sites? Well, we don't have to worry about that because of the fact that the competition is so low. This is something we can rank for. This is something you can do if you do the work, okay? Because here's the deal. Instead of being a big conglomerate, and let's see, where our, there's our eraser. Instead of being a big conglomerate, okay, here's how you're going to compete. Because WikiHow, yeah, it's a big site, great, wonderful, good. But what the search engines want is something people want to read. So WikiHow... And other sites are big, huge sites. Okay? So how are we, the little guy, going to compete? Well, here's what we're going to do. Okay, we are actually going to make a site about this specific topic. Okay? So I'm going to go out there and be like, okay, I'm going to make a site about different ways to clean your steering wheel, your foot pedal, your windows, anything in your car. Okay, so I'm going to make a car cleaning website. Okay, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to find all the cool ways to make your car clean. Okay, is everyone getting this? So now how am I going to compete? Easy. I am now the authority in the steering wheel cleaner. I could literally make a site just about how to clean your steering wheel. Okay, and we are going to do a good job. 
I'm going to be the best site about cleaning steering wheels that there is. Okay, does that make sense to everyone? Smash that like button. If you guys are getting this, well, let me know. Because this is the name of the game, and it's not hard to do. We're just going to go out there and be like, okay, here we go. And I'm going to show you an example where it's not hard to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this traffic and we're going to turn it into its own site. If the numbers fit. Do the numbers fit here? Yeah, I think so. I think these numbers fit with flying colors. Not even a question. And we're going to pair it with articles, backlinks, uh, video marketing, all kinds of stuff for how to clean the steering wheel. And we're going to do a damn good job. And here's the deal. To do a damn good job in this market, I'm going out there and I am only doing the 10% stuff that makes the 90% money. And guess what? I'm going to make more money because I'm focusing on the things that are going to pay me that are going to do them a service. Instead of having an ad up there that shows Disney or AT&T that pays pennies on the dollar, I'm going to show ads and I'm going to make affiliate programs and I'm going to put stuff that makes lots of money. When we look at this and we're like, hey, uh, finance charge on car. We could make a site just about finance charges on cars, how to negotiate them, how to use them, how to refi them. Boom. Now we're in, an art, in, in a market that pays lots of money. Let me show you how this works. Here's another one. How to get a bigger butt. Apparently people want bigger butts. There you go. Now in this example, okay, there's lots and lots of offers for how to do butt workouts. There are tons of offers. I mean, back in the 80s, there was this thing called buns of steel and it sold like crazy because apparently people want buns of steel. I don't know, something like that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, how do I do this? Marcus, I get it, but how does this work? How does this work in real world time where we're like, okay, uh, let's see if we can do this without knocking into stuff. Hopefully, I think we're supposed to get the new office next week which is costing me a small fortune. I just got all the computers and stuff for it, but we're gonna have a lot more better training. So if you guys like that, smash that like button. Um, but how do we do this? How do we take something like bigger butt workouts and turn it into a site about this stuff? Marcus, how do we compete? How do we compete with the big guys? Well, your old buddy Marcus says, if you're paying attention, if you're new here, subscribe, smash the like button, check out my stuff. Because what I teach you guys all the time is how to go out there and get a domain name that already ranked for this stuff, right? So here, if you were to take a look at domains.blogprofitnetwork.com, which is where I sell some of the sites, you're gonna see getbigbutt.com is a domain I bought. And I don't remember what I bought it for. I think it was, it was less than $1,000. I think it was like 500 bucks or 300 bucks, but watch this. This domain, if we type it in here, okay? Look at this. It already ranks. All I got to do is a little bit better of a job. That's it. Like it's already getting traffic, it's already working. All I got to do is build it out and make it grow. And in this kind of market, how many of you guys look at this and you're like, well, you know, you look at the, the butt or glute exercise market and you're like, wait a minute, you telling me, let, let's, let's, let's dissect this market for you. Okay. So let's say we want to do uh, keywords explorer and we'll do glute, glute exercise, glute workouts because I don't know how to spell exercises. So we have glute workouts here, and you can see glute workouts. We got 44,000 searches a month. Okay, let's, let's learn how to spell exercises. I'll put it in the old spell checker here. All right, so we're gonna do uh, glute exercise. So we got workouts, 44,000 searches a month. We got exercises, another 90,000. So we're at like 130. Uh, get a bigger butt, all that stuff even more, okay? So you telling me you don't think there's 50 or $100,000 a year in this niche? It's probably a couple million, all right? But if I just want to build and, and make this work, again, my goal is going to be take this domain, build it up, focus, do a good job of creating content, 
and go out there and set it up. I already have the starting point, right? That getbigbutt.com, it's already a good domain, right? And we look at this and we're like, hey, check it out. We're already halfway there. All I got to do is build this thing out. And boom, we're ready to go. And we start to look at this and we're like, wait, Marcus. So you're telling me the business model of Wikipedia is good. It's broad. It goes out there and it does stuff and figures out, hey, we're getting traffic, right? They're getting a lot. And we're going through and we're like, okay, let's take a look at similar web and let's go um, WikiHow. Okay. And we look at WikiHow. And we're like, okay, WikiHow on similar web, 107 million visitors a month. And they're making an average of about 1.0, like 1.1 million a month, if you were to do the math, 1.2 million a month, something like that. Okay, so they are literally making less than 10 cents a visitor. Okay, let, let's do the math here. So uh, 107 million over, let's call it 1.2 million a month. Is that right? Or no, 1.2 million over 107 million, sorry. Did that the wrong way. I never went to calculator school. So we will try it. So yeah, they are making on average, where'd our eraser go? There it is. They are making on average, watch this. On average, we're gonna take the math and we're gonna look at this because this will blow your mind. And this is what average people are getting. Okay, so they got 107 million visitors each and every month. Okay, they are making about $1.2 million a month. For an average per click amount of one cent. There's our cent. One cent. That's what they're getting. Right? That's like literally nothing. Can I do better than that? Can I do better than that if I say, yeah, let's just skip ahead. Let's do the bigger butt market. The workouts are there. The people are paying for this stuff. Boom. There you go. Like, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to take my getbigbutt.com site. I'm going to put some content on it. Boom, I'm going to make money. Right? Does everyone see that? Does everyone see that? And if you ever want to check out the domains I have, uh, what we do is I buy domains in good markets that I know will make money, and then I sell them with content. So like if you get getbigbutt.com, uh, it comes with 24 pieces of content. So we go out there and we start you off. Is it perfect content? No, but it's pretty darn good. Like if you were to look at uh, one of our recent students, which got Dog Allergy Advisor, Okay, this is her recent site. Uh, this is all content we got her. She didn't add any content yet. Look at all these rankings. Look at all this traffic. And it's all about like egg allergy and dogs. Uh, what happens if my dog eats bird seed? Uh, dog treats allergies, all kinds of stuff. And again, what we're going to do is a 90-10 rule. Let's find our 10. Okay, is honey good for dogs? That's a lot of traffic, yogurt for dogs. So we got all kinds of things here. And all we're going to do is build it up. This is not rocket science. This should not create info overload, right? And that's why we're looking at this in a very specific way where we're like, hey, check it out. This is where this stuff works, right? And we can go through it. Let's take a look at these, these keywords, okay? And we're going to take a look and we're like, hey, these are all niches that we like. Um, how to tie a tie. That's actually, I actually made money in that. Um, and it's pretty cool, right? Um, I didn't make much. It was a bet. A friend of mine was like, you can't make money with that. But I actually did. I made like, I don't know, 1500 bucks or something. Uh, bidet. Okay. That's a niche that would work good. I don't know. Something fell over there. It scared me. Uh, bidet niche, uh, screenshot on Mac, how to lose weight fast. Okay. And we can look at the difficulty and say, Hey, steering wheel cleaner. Yeah. That's something I can do. Uh, maybe I can go for uh, Spanish. I like the Spanish one because we can make a site about how to say certain words in Spanish and lead them to like, uh, Spanish stuff. How to cancel Planet Fitness membership. This is insane. Like, the how to cancel niche is ridiculous, right? We could do a site about 
how to cancel certain things. Okay, and what we could do would be like, hey, you know what? These, these banks make it easy to cancel stuff, right? So we could go Keyword Explorer, and you guys can see this stuff works. There you go, how to cancel. Planet Fitness, Paramount Plus, Spotify, all these people, they don't know how to cancel stuff. You spend 10 minutes, you sign up for it for four bucks, you cancel it, and you learn how to cancel it, and you document what you did and make an article, or you pay someone to do it, you know? Um, all kinds of stuff, how to fill out a money order. Um, how to delete a page in Word, how to lucid dream, um, how to make friends. One of the best-selling books ever was how to win friends and influence people. Um, very cool, right? Uh, how to be a good mother. Uh, let's see, convert PDF to Word, get rid of... So you're going to see that there's all kinds of things that people are looking for, like double-sided mirrors. Uh, these are for people who are afraid that the mirror is double-sided. Right, they like go to the hotel and they're like, "Is somebody watching me? I don't know. Are they watching me? Maybe. What's going on?" Right, and that article, like that article, gets so much traffic, it's not even funny. Um, how do you make money from dog allergies? Pet insurance, right? You go to Offer Vault and you look at pet insurance, um, pet snacks, right? We can go here and do like pet insurance. Pet insurance pays twenty dollars a lead. Uh, dog food, dog food plan, tons of ways to make money with that stuff. And you're like, hey, that's simple. That's all you got to do. That's it. We're just, it, it's like when you were a kid, right? Do you guys ever remember uh, when you were a kid and you're in grade school? And this will make sense to a lot of you guys. Um, and you were in grade school and you're like, okay, check this out, right? And you got this page in like kindergarten or whatever, right? And you had this page where you're like, okay, up here, there was like a fish. Beep. Here's our fish. And then down here, it said the word fish. Right? We're like, okay. And all you had to do is draw the line from the fish or the person to the word person or the building to the word building. And all you had to do is draw the line. And that's all we're doing. We're like, okay, how to trim cat nails. All right, well, maybe I could do pet insurance. Septic tank cleaning. Maybe I could do something with that. Um, and on and on we go. And it's very simple. All we're doing is linking one thing to the other and bada boom, bada bang, we're good to go, right? So very simple. And usually when I get more than one text, it means they need something. It's probably not though. Okay. Um, so there we go. How to avoid a check, epoxy flooring, leg raises. And guys, when you look at this, there's so much stuff that you can do. So much stuff. And when you pair this with what we're doing with these domains, it's like, oh, hey, check this out. So like bonsai trees, uh, guitars. This one was pretty cool. Bunny Supply Co. This was about like bunny rabbits. This one's about uh, fish tanks, all kinds of stuff. And you start to look at this and you're like, wait a minute. I see what Marcus is doing. He's basically buying fixer upper websites, building them up to rank for all kinds of stuff. We're like, okay, rabbit, pet rabbit costumes, rabbit supplies, outfits for rabbits, uh, nail clippers. That was, that was very much like the nail clipper one uh, that this ranked for. And you start to understand, hey, wait a minute. That's it? How to measure your hips, how to build a house, how to get rid of lower belly fat, how to season salmon. A lot of people don't know how to season that the right way. I like uh, blackened salmon. Uh, that's a good way to make it. Um, or... Dill Hollandaise, that's always a good way to do that. But at any rate, at risk of us being hungry, uh, we could take other stuff, right? And you start to understand, hey, wait a minute, that's it. So like, all I got to do is ask myself, what do I think I could make? Is it worth it for me to go for a site like Get Big Butt? Like, could I make $10 a day, $20 a day, $100 a day with that? Yeah, I don't think $100 a day would be difficult. The traffic is there. The, the offers are there. The way to make money's there. So all I need to do is put these things together and bada boom, bada bang, build it up. And when we start to look at these business models, what we're doing is we're looking at like Wikipedia, a WikiHow business model or whatever it is. And we're like, wait a minute. So I could literally just be the king in maybe like compatibility or maybe how to swing a golf club. Or maybe like the, the pro at how to marinate a chicken or how to get bigger arms. And we start to understand that, wait a minute, these guys are doing the like 
throw it against a wall, see what works, which is what a lot of you guys have been doing. A lot of internet marketers out there, they're going to teach, throw it against the wall, hopefully something will work. How's it working for you? Oh, it's not? Yeah, it didn't work for me either, except back in 2003 when it literally took no effort to make content. But now you got to make some good content. So you need to make some good, informed decisions about what's out there, how you're going to make money. And if you don't know the answers to those questions, then you're not an affiliate marketer. You need to know the answer to what am I going to do? How am I going to make this work? How am I going to make money with how to draw a graduation cap or how to make vinegar? Okay, now this one, how to make alkaline water? Oh, hell yeah. That one, I can get all over that. Because now I'm looking at uh, how to make alkaline water, okay? And I'm like, wait a minute, this links to water purifiers. Boom, there you go. And these are the kind of niches I find all the time in my program at highticketniches.com, right over there. There it is, down there, right? Um, and there is where you could go and, and we'll find your niche, we'll find your profit method, we'll find a domain, uh, we'll set you up. And we'll work with you for an entire year to help you make it work. But I want you to understand that the idea here is let's look at their business model because the business model is working. It's working. And how can we learn from these businesses? And if you guys want me to start dissecting other businesses and show you exactly what they're doing and how they're making money, let me know because that is something that I, I have planned for you guys uh, to teach you that stuff. And if you're not subscribed, if you haven't smashed the like button and the bell and all that fancy stuff, uh, do that because we're going to walk you through how this stuff works in a real world way. And if you want to get that keyword report, we have a small version at downloadmynotes.com. If you want the big version, uh, check out blogprofitnetwork.com. We're going to start loading a bunch of keyword reports in there, uh, which is pretty cool. And we're going to show you how this works. And you can go over to highticketniches.com to get your domains and niches. Or you can check out domains.blogprofitnetwork.com if you want something specific. Uh, we have these all the time. I try to make them pretty inexpensive because like, okay, obviously I want to make some money. Uh, but I probably, I think I bought this domain for 700 bucks. The content's going to cost me another 500, maybe even more. And then we upsell it and show you how it works. Boom. That's how the cookie crumbles. And you go through and you make it work. And you can see this is the model. It's a brilliant model, right? And they're going through and working on what people are searching for. And guys, that's what I've been telling you since the year 2000. Actually, 2008 is when I started teaching. But this is what I've been doing for many, many years. And if you understand the model and you want to do this, check out highticketniches.com. We're helping people all the time. All you got to do is say, Marcus, I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to see what these business models are doing and, and look at it because what they're doing is very smart and what they're doing is on a big scale. And if we can narrow it down and say, I'm just going to use one thing, I'm just going to use one. And then I'm going to rig the game by getting a domain that is already ranking for this stuff. And then I'm just going to start to knock out good content for the stuff I think I can get. And then boom, there we go. We make it work. So, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this training. Check out downloadmynotes.com for notes on the training. Check out highticketniches.com for domains and stuff like that. And I'll see you next time. Smash that like button if you dug it. Have a good one.